In this video, we're going to look at some of the best website testing tools you can use right now. If you're a developer, agency owner, QA lead, or part of a team that builds and ships websites, this one's for you. I've tested a ton of tools over the years, and I've seen what actually works and what's just hype. So I'm going to walk you through five popular options, each with a very different approach and help you figure out which one fits your workflow best. Just a quick note before we dive in, I've included affiliate links in the description. If you click one and make a purchase, I may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you very much. And now let's get started. What is Bugherd and why do so many agencies use it? Let's start with Bugherd. This is a tool made for website feedback. It's not a big complex automation platform. Instead, it focuses on one thing, making it super easy for clients, teammates, or testers to leave feedback right on the website itself. And I mean, literally right on it. They just click something that's broken or confusing, leave a quick note, and Bugherd turns that into a task. Behind the scenes, Bugherd also takes a screenshot, grabs technical details like the browser, device, operating system, screen size, and URL, everything your development team needs to fix the problem without back and forth emails. If you've ever dealt with a vague client email that just says, the header is broken, you know how frustrating that can be. Bugherd ends that. You also get a built-in task board that works like a Kanban board. All the feedback turns into trackable tasks automatically. You can assign them, set priorities, and follow up, all from one central dashboard. In fact, it removes the need for a separate project management tool entirely. Everything from client comments to developer tasks lives in one place. And because it works on any browser or device, you don't have to worry about people using the wrong setup. I've used Bugherd a lot for user acceptance testing. That's the final stage where the client tests the site to make sure it works how they want. Buckhurt makes this part simple and smooth. Clients don't need training. They just click and comment. That's it. Buckhurt also connects with tools like Jira, Trello, Slack, Asana, and more. So it fits right into whatever workflow your team already uses. And, and like many tools, the integrations with Jira and Slack offer two-way sync. That means updates in Bugherd show up in your existing tools and vice versa, keeping everyone on the same page without bouncing between apps. It's a huge win if you're running web design or development projects and want fast, accurate feedback without the usual communication headaches. It starts at $41 per month and has a free trial so you can try it out before committing. With their yearly billing, you'll also get two months free. It also has a 60 day money back guarantee, so nothing to worry about. How does Audify use AI for testing websites? Next up is Audify. This one's pretty different. Audify is all about automated testing and it uses artificial intelligence to help you build and run those tests faster. It's built on top of Playwright, which is a modern testing framework. If that sounds too techy, don't worry. Audify tries to make things simple with low code options. You can describe a user flow in plain language, like log in, go to the dashboard, click settings, and Audify will turn that into a test. You can also upload your product requirements, like a feature doc, and it creates test cases based on that. One thing I like is how Audify automatically keeps your tests updated when the site changes. Normally, small changes in the layout break your tests, but Audify's AI watches for those changes and adjusts your tests so you don't have to fix them constantly. It runs tests on multiple browsers and mobile devices, and you don't need to set up anything fancy for that. Everything happens in the cloud. You can also export the tests to raw playroute code if you want full control. So it works for both beginners and more advanced testers. That flexibility is a big win. However, if you're brand new to automated testing, there might still be a bit of a learning curve. Audify isn't as easy to pick up as something like Bugherd, which is more visual and direct. There is a three month free trial and pricing depends on your team size and needs. So you'll have to contact them to get a quote. What makes QA Wolf different from other testing tools? Now let's talk about QA Wolf. This one is kind of like having a full QA quality assurance team without hiring one yourself. QA Wolf gives you a team of testing experts who build, run, and maintain your tests for you. So if your dev team is small or focused on features, 
QA Wolf takes the pressure off. You don't have to write any code or figure out test plans. They handle it. Their team builds end-to-end -end tests using Playwright, which is the same tech behind Audify, but they do it all for you. They keep the tests updated when your site changes and they run them constantly every time you push new code. The reports live in a single dashboard where you can track what's passing, what's failing, and what needs to be fixed. They also promise no flaky tests, which is a huge deal. Flaky tests waste a ton of time because they fail for no reason. One thing I really like is that they give you unlimited test runs. You can run your whole test suit multiple times per day without extra costs. But again, this is a managed service. It's more expensive and it's built for teams that want to outsource their whole testing process. If you're working solo or testing just a few features, it's probably more than you need. Is Testim good for big apps and fast releases? Testim by TriCensus is another tool that focuses on automated testing, but with some smart tricks. It uses AI to help you build stable tests fast. That means less time fixing broken tests and more time shipping updates. Testim is great if your app changes a lot, like if you're working on a custom Salesforce setup or a big e-commerce site or something with frequent releases. The AI helps find and lock onto elements on the page so your tests don't break every time the design shifts. You build tests using a visual editor, which is helpful if you don't want to write a bunch of code. But you can also add custom JavaScript when you need to do something more advanced. So it balances ease and power well. Testim is also good at organizing your tests. You can group steps, reuse pieces, and keep everything tidy, even as your app gets more complex. Now for the catch, it's expensive. Pricing starts at $1,000 per month. There's a free version with limited test runs, but most teams will need to upgrade pretty quickly. It's made for medium to large teams who are serious about testing at scale. What makes Testlio stand out in global testing? So the last one on our list is Testlio, built for companies that need to test their websites across different devices, locations, and payment methods. This is not a simple plug and play tool. It's a full service that mixes manual and automated testing using real testers around the world. They have access to over 600,000 real devices and testers in over 150 countries. So if you're building a product that needs to work globally, or if you care about how it looks and performs on rare devices, Testlio is one of the best choices out there. They also do payment testing, language testing, and cover over 800 payment methods. That's pretty wild. I've worked with clients who had to test payment flows in different countries, and it's not easy without something like Testlio. You still get automation options too, but the real strength here is in the human testing. They know how to find edge cases that automated tests miss. Again, this is more of a partner than a tool. Pricing depends on your needs and you'll need to book a call to get started. It's built for companies with serious testing needs and big user bases. So what's the best website testing tool for user acceptance testing, web projects, and client sign-off? All right, let's bring it all together. If you're looking for easy, fast, and clear website testing, especially when you're working with clients or doing user acceptance testing, Bugherd is hands down the best tool I've used. It's built for non-technical users, turning every piece of feedback into a task with a screenshot and all the technical info your devs need. And because it combines visual feedback with built-in task management, there's no need for an external project management tool. It fits into your existing tools. And most importantly, it actually gets used. Clients love it, devs love it, and it speeds up your projects. Now, if you need automated testing at scale, Autify and QA Wolf are strong options. One gives you flexibility to build your own tests with AI. The other gives you a done for your service. Now for complex apps or heavy automation needs, Testim and Testlio are both great, but they're more expensive and really built for larger teams with bigger budgets. So take a minute to think about what matters most for your projects, speed, automation, collaboration, device coverage, and choose the tool that fits your workflow best. Check out the links in the description to try them out. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.